Hi, today we're going to show you how to configure Outlook 2003 or Outlook 2007 to synchronize and access your hosted Exchange mailbox. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to come down and open up Internet Explorer on your machine and you'll need to navigate to www.myondemandit.com. From here you'll need to select the option in the bottom right hand corner for the control panel login. Um, at this point you'll be, you'll be asked for your username and password. So this is the username and password that you would normally log into Outlook Web Access and in most cases it's just your default um, email address and your password. Okay, so we'll just put that in and go log in. Um, once you get into the control panel you'll see you've got some icons across the top of the page. Most of these options are unavailable to a standard user. Um, so what we're going to do is select the icon here second in from the left for services and then we're going to select exchange and then summary. So this summary view gives you all of the details pertaining to your hosted exchange account um, including all of the email addresses that you that have been provisioned for you, the Outlook Web Access address and your username. Um, if you're using an Apple Mac and you've got Entourage 2008, then the settings are here for how to configure Entourage. And if you've got a Windows Mobile device or a Pocket PC, that'd be something like a Palm Trio running Windows Mobile or an HTC device or um, an iMate or something similar, then there's some the settings are in here for you to be able to configure ActiveSync. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go, now go back to the up to the top of the toolbar and we're going to go to Services, Exchange and then Outlook Configuration. So on this page what this gives us is this gives us the ability to configure, out, to download an executable that will configure Outlook for you for your hosted Exchange account. So the first thing we need to do on this page is select the option for RPC. So Mappy is not an option for hosted exchange customers, it's actually not an option that we support at all. It's only designed for corporate implementations of this product So and, and is not applicable if your machine is not located inside the, um, the corporate data center. So in this case we are um, going to select RPC over HTTP um, and then you've got a choice of which hosted exchange cache mode option you want. We strongly recommend that you select headers that will give you the best performance and will use the, the least amount of bandwidth when you're synchronizing your mailbox and it gives you the ability to, to see a message, see the basics of it. If you don't want it you can delete it. Um, if, you do, if you do want the rest of the message you just double click on it and it will then download the balance of the content. Um, so a much more efficient and fast way to, um, to set up Outlook. Um, so then all we need to do once we've once we've created those two is um, just click on the download option. Now there is this PRF only option over here. This is only design this is only a, should be used for IT administrators or technical staff that know how to use scripts to be able to import PRF files. Um, in most cases this won't be applicable to most users. So just select the um, the Outlook profile setup and click on download. Um, that just obviously props, prompts up with the normal um, warnings from Windows and Internet Explorer to run and then we'll run it and then we'll run it again and if you're using Vista you'll also get the um, a user account control pop up to allow or cancel which you probably can't see so I'm going to select allow and that's going to start the installation of the um, Outlook setup wizard. So we'll just select next. Now in here we've got three options. Once again, we strongly recommend that you select all three of these. Um, the first one here being Outlook Profile, that is actually going to is going to set up your copy of Outlook for um, for your hosted Exchange mailbox. The Auto Discover service is going to set up your machine to enable Outlook to use features like the offline address book and to be able to use the um, out of office wizard. If you choose not to install the auto discover service, then you'll then your only option for accessing the offline the address book and the um, and the out of office settings are to, to log into Outlook Web Access to do that to use those. Um, the auto logon tool is actually a single sign on tool that means that when you double click on Outlook every day, you're not prompted for a username and password. It automatically logs in with the credentials that you've provided. The first, and during this installation process. So we'll just leave all three of those selected and click next. We're now going to put in um, 
uh, password. Now this password is the exact same password that you use to log into the control panel in the just a couple of uh, slides previously. So we'll then select next, next and install and then once that's finished installing we'll click finish and what you'll notice is that this now fires up Outlook and it will go through the basics of preparing Outlook for your hosted exchange account. Okay, you'll now notice that that's, that's now completed and in the bottom right hand corner you'll see that it says um, this folder is up to date and you are connected to Microsoft Exchange. So that's, that means that Outlook has now completed the, um, the setup process and you're ready to start using your mailbox. Um, as an example, if you click on the address book up the top here, you will have access to your global address list um, and that will, give you, that will show you all of the users and all the details um, pertaining to um, all of the members within your company um, and you can now safely start sending and receiving email. Thanks very much for watching this presentation.